Hey everybody, this is Mr. Olshin, and today I'm going to show you how to create a website using Adobe Spark. So once you log into Adobe Spark, you can go ahead and click on the web page icon to begin starting a new web page. Now the first slide that you're going to see is the title slide and you can obviously click where it says title and you can add some text, you can add a subtitle uh, or you can actually forego using both of those and you can go ahead and click on the little plus sign here to create an image for the beginning of your website. So I'm going to go to photo and when you add photos in Adobe Spark you can either upload photos from your desktop or you can find free photos by clicking there and uh, you will get Creative Commons licensed uh, Pixabay photos. So uh, in this case I'm going to upload a photo and I've created a logo that we're going to pull up here. And as you can see now, uh, this is going to be the background for the beginning of my website. And just to show you at the top of your screen in Adobe Spark, you can always click the preview button to go out of editing mode and see what this would actually look like as a website. So if I hit that preview button, you can see this is my website right now. So let's close this and we're going to go back to editing mode so you can see some of the other features uh, of ways you can design your website. So as I keep scrolling, I'm going to get a pop-up. And these are all the options for the things that I can add into my Adobe Spark website. I can add photos, text boxes, buttons, videos, photo grids, glide shows, and split layouts. So just to kind of replicate the uh, website that I created earlier, I'm going to go ahead and just show you the video next. So you can see right here I can add an embedded video from YouTube, from Vimeo, or from Spark Video. So I'm going to add a video from my YouTube channel here. So I'm going to take my commercial sample that I created. And I'm just going to copy the URL. And I'll head back to Adobe Spark and paste that right there. So now I've got my commercial built into my website. All right, let's go to the next section. And the next thing they added was a split layout. So split layout's basically going to allow for two different panels here, and we can rotate between having the image on the left or the right. Um, so in this case, I'll leave this on the left side. And I'm going to go ahead and add an image here. So I'm going to upload my other logo that I created in Adobe Spark. And it pops up right there. And then on the right side here, uh, I could add some text. And... You know, I could write something in here. Uh, just to point out, too, that when you're writing text, you can opt to have headers. Just so that it looks a little better there. Uh, at any point, if you don't like what you have, you can just click on the screen anywhere on a panel. And you can see Delete Layout. I can completely remove that. All right, let's go to the next section. And I'm going to show you next the Glide Show, which I really like a lot. Um, the Glide Show is going to allow you to upload several images and then you're going to be able to write text on those images as you scroll. So we're going to actually find some photos for this one. And I'm just going to look up uh, a couple random animals here just because that's easy enough. And okay, so I've got a couple random animals here. So now when we go back... This is what it's going to look like on my website. So I've got my title slide, I've got my video, I've got my split image here with text, and if I keep scrolling, this is the start of my glide show. So you can see those images, they're, they're essentially the background has kind of a Ken Burns effect where it zooms in on them as you're scrolling. And then all these text boxes here over the images, we can add photos, videos, or text. So if I want to talk about you know the history of my company, I can do all that right here. And you can see if I hit return, I can add different sections. I can add videos. So this can actually get pretty lengthy as you scroll. Uh, but it's up to you how you do that. And again, I can do that for the next section, add videos, things like that. So I'm going to keep going here. And the next thing I want to show you are buttons. So buttons are essentially um, just going to be links, buttons that link you to another website. Um, so I could say, you know, check out more info here. And I might put you know, a website here about snakes, great, let's save that. And now when you click on this button here, it's gonna take you, when we're in the actual uh, website mode, it's gonna take you to the site that you need to go to. So that's what buttons are, they essentially let you go somewhere else, uh, another website. So let's go to preview, see what we came up with. 
And here's our website. We've got our title slide, our video, we've got our split layout there. And then we've got our glide show here where we can add some more things. And we threw a button in there at the bottom. Okay, now if you want to share this with somebody, the way you do that is you can simply go to the share button at the top of the screen, click the little drop down menu, and hit the publish and share link button. Uh, you're going to be able to title this. You can pick a category that this goes in. Uh, if you want to show your, your author credits on the site, you can, but you don't have to. And it's cool too because it's going to put photo credits for anything that you um, acquired through Adobe's site. And then once you hit create link, it's going to load for a second and then you're going to have a link that you can share with someone and that will take them to your finished website. All right, so check out the next video if you want to see how to create a logo in Adobe Spark. Thanks for watching.